Another episode of Walking with the Reaper. Reaper, you know we just in the hood. Taking a nice five mile walk this morning. You know, um, cloudy day in the Northwest, but it's not raining. The sun is partly out. It's partly sunny, but uh, it's cloudy. You know, hopefully it burns off in the uh, afternoon or whatever, you know, and, uh, you know, we can get some better weather, but uh, it's going to be like about a 55, 60 degree day, partly sunny up here, same as yesterday, you know, and uh, just giving you a glimpse of what the Reaper do, uh, you know, and everything. You know, uh, we got the new show up. We got the new show up. You know, uh, go to the show and uh, hit the like button and subscribe button. You know, because we did a show yesterday talking about, you know, what people can do in the hood to change things. What should you do? You know, uh, a lot of people got to take responsibility and do better by themselves and their family. And most of all, be educated the right way, to think the right way. You know, you can be educated in school, that's just making you viable in the workplace. But you have, you have to have the right education, you know, far as life-wise, to do better by yourself, your family, your children, and everything else, and I know that a lot of the old heads, uh, you know, we've been programmed to think and believe a certain way. But, you know, um, you can always change your circumstances or come out your way of thinking. You know, you just got to want to. And I know it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, but it said it's hard to. It didn't say... You couldn't learn new tricks, you know, or you couldn't learn new things. So, you know, when you learn new things, you know, when you knew better, you do better. And you can do better by yourself, your family, your grandkids, or your kids, you know, because, you know, like I said, we've all been, you know, programmed and indoctrinated by the system. And at some point, you have to come up out of that. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. You know, you just have to, you know, do better, you know, by yourself or whatever. And first of all, it starts with the hard part is researching yourself. What can you do to make yourself a more viable person or a better person? You know, I mean, what is it that you need to improve on as far as your way of thinking, whatever your dysfunction is, you know, whether, you know, you need to lose a few pounds or, or you know, you need to exercise more. You need to, you know, get your financial situation in the order, get your work situation in order, get your house situation in order, get your relationship in order, get your financial situation in order, you know, I mean, you got to go category by category, because the repo always say there are different slices and different subjects in life, just like, you know, there's different subjects in school. You know, and, you know, you just have to realize that, you know, I mean, just like education is one thing. And then, you know, you go education, then you go financial structure, you go work, house, car, kids, you know, religion, you know, structure, value system, you know, I mean, common sense. You know, there's different subjects in life, just like there's different subjects in school. And, 
You can't flunk two or three and expect to pass, you know. So, you know, you got to have those different subjects in life that's going to, you know, get you by. Look like he's had a rough day. You know, the bus driver or whatever. You know, sitting here chilling, probably on a break. You know, but you have to, you know, get those different subjects, you know, in life. And, uh, you know, you have to pass the major ones in order to pass, you know. I mean, that's just how it go, you know. I mean, you can't pass education and then flunk common sense, you know, or structure or planning, you know, or, you know, taking care of your children, you know, properly or, you know, rolling like that because then you're flunking life you know the reaper keep it 1000 so you know you have to get the main things in order and on the next show we're going to be talking about you know what it takes to be a real man not one of you Plato ass niggas that think you're a real man we want to talk about nuts and bolts baby what it takes to be a real man because what it takes to be a real man a real man is going to look out for women and children that he love before he look out for himself the reaper keep it 1000 and even if a woman go down you know he's going to be there to pick up the pieces because when you a real boss, right? You truly a boss, you know, you look out for women and children before you look out for your damn self. You know, the reaper keep it 1000. That's what make you a boss. Now, you don't want to boss up. You know, some of you dependent ass niggas. Then, you know, that's why you a mouse. You ain't a motherfucking man. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You ain't no boss. Bosses look out for women and children. You know. And they know that they the motherfucking boss. You know. I mean, you have that bossing up type spirit. And it's not an abusive type spirit. It's not a controlling type spirit. You just know you the motherfucking boss. You know, haven't you haven't you heard that song by James Brown? <laughs> Paid the cost to be the boss. Look at me. You know what you see? You see a bad mother. You know, I'm just saying, look at me. You know what you see? You see a bad mother. Cause you know why? A boss go out there and make moves, you know, for women and children. And it don't matter what kind of moves they make, it's the kind of moves he make. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So, you know, and he don't need her to make moves for him. You know, because he's self-motivated, self-dedicated. You know, you know, he's self-made. He's a made man already. So we're going to talk about what it means to be a boss and what it means to be a real man. Because a real man is the motherfucking boss. And that's what we gonna talk about 